As a long-time user of Zwift, I've been interested in some of the up-and-coming competitors to that platform. So when I heard about the public beta for Road Grand Tours, I figured I would give it a try. So these are my first impressions. I've just downloaded and installed the application and paired it to my Strava. So here we go. You log in, it shows you a user customization screen on the right. If you, you can change your kit, when you click on the little guy, it seems to make him angry. You can also pick helmet and bike, I, and um, also glasses. I don't know if the if there's any performance difference between the bikes, as there is on Zwift, where you know some bikes are lighter or more aerodynamic. Um, no indication yet if there's any difference. Um, most of the bikes are themed with the um, themed with BMC, so I don't know if there's a you know if there's some sponsorship or anything there. I don't know if just speculating. Now, if you look in the lower left, you'll see that it's automatically picked up my uh, Wahoo Kicker Smart Trainer, also my Cadence Sensor and my Heart Rate Monitor. Um, note that I did not do anything to pair these. It just showed up automatically. Uh, the heart rate data doesn't look correct. I'm not that relaxed right now, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. It should be noted that this is Ant Plus only. They do intend to support Bluetooth LE, but that hasn't um, happened yet, so you'll need to have an Ant Plus stick in your computer. So now let's look at courses. Up at the top here we see you can pick from one of several courses. All of the courses are themed to, to look like actual um, bike race courses. This is in contrast to Zwift, which is a mix of real-world courses such as London and Richmond and made-up worlds such as Watopia. Uh, one thing that I find interesting is that the default camera position is first person. I believe you can change it, but the default camera position is from your own perspective. This is in contrast to Zwift, which has the default camera position placed behind you. I actually kind of like this. Uh, also, the graphics, I'm actually... I mean, I, I'm not an expert, but I I kind of like the graphics. They um, do appear quite well done. I'll um, put some Zwift footage right next to it so that you can tell for yourself. Uh, you can compare for yourself. If you look at the upper left, you'll see that it's um, showing power and heart rate and cadence. That heart rate looks a little bit more realistic now. Oh, also apparently we have a sprint coming up. So um, I, I, I guess we'll do that. And there's the leaderboard, just to let me know that I suck. Haven't seen any, anybody else on the course yet, but you can see from the left-hand side that there are other people out here. And that's the end of the first lap. Uh, picked a short course just so I could test it out. Hey, there's somebody else. And they're faster than me. Good job. I have to say, I kind of like the first-person um, camera view. It just makes you feel a little bit more like you're there, as opposed to the um, Zwift's default camera view. That being said, it's obvious I'm not there. I'm in my front room with several fans going. Uh, here, here's that sprint again. Let's see if we can do better this time. Hey, we can also run through people. You can see from the heavy Strava theming that you know there must be some um, there must be some tie-in with Strava. I know the segments, um, like the sprint segments, automatically a segment on Strava. 
I don't know, you know, if there's any business relationship between Road Grand Tours and Strava or not. Um, I really haven't looked into any of that at all. Hey, it's slightly better this time. And, um, well, really, that's 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 uh, my first um, look at Road Grand Tours. Um, the public beta is free, so there's really no risk in trying it out yourself. Um, like I said earlier, you will need to have an Ant Plus um, stick in your computer because they do not currently support Bluetooth LE. They support Mac OS and Windows, but not iOS or anything else. You know, yet anyway, it's uh, it's early days, so that might that might change. So we end. Notice it syncs to Strava automatically, and. Um, we're done. All right, thanks for checking this out with me.